everyone. Thank you for coming to our second episode of Tech Talk with Focus 360. I am Jennifer Cooper. I'm a fractional CMO for Focus 360. And today our guest is Chad Davies of Davies Imaging Group. Hello, Chad. Thanks for joining me today. Hi, Jen. Thanks for having me. Two's my favorite number, so I'm glad I'm number two. <laughs> Good. I know. Hopefully someday we'll be like episode number 200. But uh, Tech Talk is all about bringing bite-sized nuggets of information that service the home building industry and really the real estate industry at large with a large focus on marketing and advancements in technology. So today I thought, Chad, he is... And I donned him this as the official photographer of the home building industry. And he's wearing that crown. Very proud. Uh, and Chad, honestly, you do amazing work for the industry. Uh, coast to coast, we've seen you work with a ton of builders. And definitely want to give you kudos for your great work. But we're going to talk about branding, visualization, um, and just bringing great, great visualization to the marketplace for home builders today. So wanted to just start off with your skill set because it is fabulous and I know you train up your team to have your eye which is awesome but tell me what makes your photography different um, and and this is funny because if you follow Chad which you should um, he made the conversation that what he does isn't art and I will argue that all day but I want you to tell us what makes you different <laughs> and then if you want to comment on that again go ahead <laughs> uh, yeah, that'll, that, that's a whole different discussion. That'll take a really long time, uh, the art thing. But um, we run a commercial photography business for the real estate industry. So many people in home building especially take advantage of real estate photographers to capture their finished product. And real estate photography focuses on one transaction at a time. That That whole type of photography was developed for listing agents and real estate brokers. Home building is a business and it should be treated like one. And commercial photography creates assets that companies use to make hundreds of transactions in the future. So we treat our assets like our assets, our images, not our pictures, our images. We treat them like something that's going to be used for years and years and years in the future that you can always rely on to make really fast transactions happen for high dollar amounts. And these are all things builders love. Um, so to make images that stand out and that provide that lasting value, there's a ton of work that goes into the planning phase of photography and then also in the post-production, all the editing that happens after the fact. So I think just the degree of precision we have in our photo shoots and how, how much attention we pay to the details before and after the shoot happens really is what separates our work from most of the market. Got it. And I think that example of quality is what separates a lot of services. You know, know what you're what you're paying for and setting the expectations of what kind of final product you want. And I think because you just come to the table with like this is how we do things and this is how what we expect out of our finished product, um, really gives you know give you guys kudos for for knowing that the client typically isn't going to have to push the bar on the quality because you're going to already push it there. So marketers should really be looking at the level of service, not the cheapest thing, isn't always the best thing. Um, and then really understand what kind of assets you're going to get when you're when you're done done with that product. So um, so he's not going to argue with the art topic because that'll probably take <laughs> too long. It's too, too long. much time. <laughs> we won't. We're not going there. But I say you are artistic, so don't don't let that. Let's Thank you. Thank you. I know it's a compliment. <laughs> I understand that. I just don't want to label myself an artist. I think it creates issues, but that's a different conversation. Yeah, understand. All right, moving on. So how do you see technology hurting or helping or really threatening your craft? I'm curious for your thoughts on that, because as marketers and home builders, we have to look at all the ways that technology is changing our environment and changing our, our customer experience. Totally. So I know the hot topic of today is AI or artificial intelligence, and more specifically, like generative AI. So having the the machine brain creating images for marketing teams or companies in replacement of maybe hiring a photographer or more traditional production styles. And this is this is like everyone's talking about it. Even photographers are are kind of on edge, like, hey, is this going to replace my job? Is this going to 
um, is this going to make me irrelevant? And we've been experimenting with it, honestly. Like we we see it coming. We see what AI can do, and it's really impressive. Um, but it's I don't know. I, I like to think of AI right now in its current in its current form. AI is a great starting point. I think AI gives everyone, you included. It gives us uh, a good starting point to then create the create assets from to start the creative process from. If we're relying on AI generated assets today to deliver finished results, finished assets, finished mm -hmm. images, finished video, typically the end result doesn't look super good. Um, I, I think AI's biggest help to all of us right now is to help us get to the endpoint faster by maybe coming up with unique ideas that we didn't think of or maybe just shining a light on something a little bit differently. It's very figurative language, but um, I, I think it helps us come to creative solutions faster. It doesn't give us the solution though. At least that's mm -hmm. what we've experienced so far. So I, I think AI as like a tool is very exciting to talk about for everyone, um, but it's a tool right now. It's not, it's not an end product. It's something to use to arrive at an end result faster. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I am watching the topic of AI, and actually we have a blog coming out on the topic at 360 View of, I think as, as marketers and managing our communication and what our brand stands for, you know, do we lose that sense of authenticity in how we write something or how an image shows up or putting in um, these like perfected people when authenticity is still so important, probably more so important in this very high tech perfecting filtered world, right? Mm -hmm. So I would say for marketers to really think about what is how perfect, perfect, you know, and authentic are you looking for your brand to be when you're thinking about do I add in real models? Do I add in lifestyles into my into my model homes? And and how is AI gonna make it better? Or it, it's kind of fun, right? Like you can kind of play with it and be curious about it, but how authentic is it? So I know you posted something about that. Um, we're both we very did. active on LinkedIn. And um, we kind of made made some comments where you were like, yes, not, not, not to replace it. Um, any comments on uses of people or what you're seeing is good or bad out there? Yeah, um, thanks for bringing that up. The I think the the first use case in our in our line of work, like we do, you know, we do architectural photography. We take pictures of finished buildings, mm -hmm. and AI can't take a picture for us yet. They can't put a camera at a real location and take a picture and make something beautiful. And they can't they can't do that yet. What it can do is make new things that look similar to the input you give it. So we're experimenting with AI in a, in a very specific use case where we're shooting photos like we normally do. We send uh, those finished photos into like an AI program and then prompt it and ask it to provide lifestyle images that would go along with or are associated with those images we plug in. So the end result is you get some lifestyle looking images that are complementary to the actual space that exists on the ground, um, mm -hmm. but did not actually happen. Like the people weren't really there. Sometimes the spaces don't match up perfectly, but if you zoom in or crop in and just take a portion of it, you you get something that looks activated. It looks like people are are in that space. Um, and it might be more attractive to someone that's shopping online and say, hey, like, you know, there's people in the space. I'm going to click that versus the empty space. I, I think there might be an opportunity for builders in, in that very specific scenario where mm -hmm. we're providing lifestyle images that maybe look like their actual community or model home or new project. Um, and we can put those up together and say, look, like this is what it's like to live here. That's what we're playing with right now. How useful it is, it's still mm -hmm. very early. We've been doing it for a few weeks, not even a few months. Yeah. So it's it's still super early in the process. But I, I think the end result could be exciting. It could be useful. It it could be beneficial to every builder. I just don't know yet. Yeah. I don't think a lot of us know, right? Right. We're playing with how it answers questions or how it articulates thought and it doesn't have emotion it's trying to learn emotion so when we're thinking about creating lifestyles in our homes and 
video in animations and photography, it's that, you know, if it's not real, it distracts. And then if it's not authentic, it doesn't match the brand. So, um, you know, trying to teach emotion and what's it really like to be, you know, playing on, in, on the, the fluffy carpet in your, in your master bedroom, your primary bedroom with your little baby is, is a real emotion versus trying to like, say, put child crawling on carpet. <laughs> um, you know, I think it'll, I think, do I think it'll get there potentially? Yes. But right now it's, I think it's an, an interesting space to play with. So um, we can't lose it's the close. emotion of the home building experience. So Yep. Speaking of experience, I, this is a loaded question, and I know you could go to a bunch of different directions, but I'd love to ask Chad Davies, what do you think is missing from the home building experience today? Because I know you have a lot of opinions in terms of what you see builders doing, what do you, where you see there's a, a chance to, um, you know, just change change how visuals are out there and how customers are, are digesting information. Um, any thoughts on what's missing? First thing that comes to mind is I think in almost every other part of our consumer society, like it's pretty easy to go and, and see how things are made and become a part of the process of uh, how organic makeup is made or how you know clothing is made or how food is made or how anything is made. But for some reason, and there's probably a list of okay legal reasons, um, it's really difficult to go behind the scenes and and understand how your house is built. And I think as a home buyer in the market, it would be lovely to to understand like who the people are that are working on my house and building my house. Mm -hmm. And all the people behind the scenes, whether it's on the development side or the design side or on the construction side or the sales team, getting to know those personalities uh, before like pulling the trigger and buying the house because it would get me emotionally invested in the people that are building my home that I'm going to have all these wonderful moments in. Um, for me, I think that's like a huge white space in the industry. And I, I understand why that white space exists, but nobody's really tackled it yet. And I think that would be amazing for some builder to really like focus on the personalities behind the homes that they're building because mm -hmm. that provides so many more emotional connection points for potential buyers to latch onto and trust and like become a part of before they even move in, before they even sign docs, before they see the house in person for the first time. So mm -hmm. that's my kind of off the wall suggestion is I, I think we just need to, to see and meet and understand the people that are actually building these places of life. You know, I, that's important. I did promise to keep Tech Talk at a very uh, short, bite-sized bits of information. I would encourage uh, our viewers to follow Chad Davies because he not only shows off some amazing photography he does across the real estate industry at large, but also provides a lot of tips. I know you've got some uh, different ways, maybe some different classes that you, you've offered to builders to teach even just down to our sales teams how to use their phones. There are areas that we have to interject. We got to get a photo. We've got to get something out. And just using these guys um, is so important to that visual masterpiece that we're creating. So thank you so much, Chad, for joining us today. And thank you, everyone. Stay tuned for our next Tech Talk next month.